Hey everybody, welcome back to TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Again, it's TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. So, I'm going to do two videos today, all right? And the first one, and by the way, if you're new, first of all, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to the blog, follow me on all the social networks. Because you don't want to miss out on giveaways or just announcements I have of cool things I'm working on or important things that um, may be helpful or useful for you. So make sure you do that. And if you ever have a question, you can email me, Dan, that's D-A-N, at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. That's Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about a topic uh, in regards to budget negotiations and how, yes, it is possible to over-negotiate a budget, and by over-negotiating means you can actually lose the study, but I don't want to scare you guys from being bulldogs and being really persistent and really tough negotiators when it comes to negotiate budgets, because a lot of sites, actually too many sites, or I should say the majority of sites out there, um, do not do enough negotiating. Uh, uh, when it comes to getting these budgets, but it is possible to go too far, to push too far, and to actually have the sponsor tell you, hey, you know, we'd rather just not work with you if that's the case. So it happened recently at one of my sites. Um, it was a study where we didn't necessarily, we weren't too excited about the study anyways, but if, if we were going to do it, we had to do it on our terms and at a really, really good budget. And uh, it fell, I guess, way outside of their range of what an acceptable budget is for that study. And uh, I mean, be my guest and try to figure out what their acceptable range is. Uh, you can look at any protocol and the range. And if you were to look at any protocol out there and look at all the sites that have negotiated a budget, all right, you'll see if you take the lowest budget and the highest budget, there'll be a huge, a wide gap between those two. And then everyone else kind of in the middle, um, which tells you that really the max and what they tell you their max is, is actually are actually two different things. So it's a really tough problem to solve when you're actually in the middle of negotiating one of these budgets. Uh, but it is possible, as we just found out, but we were okay taking that risk because we wouldn't do the study unless we got our budget that we wanted. Um, and so we pushed too far and the sponsor actually said, hey, this is the best we can do. Uh, if you can't accept it, we need to know so we can move on. And then we both agreed that we'll move on. But it was really the sponsor. Uh, this was the first time it happened where the sponsor actually told us that, hey, it might be better for them to move on. Usually they, they leave it up to you, the site, to determine whether you want to accept the budget as is or whether you want to just decline the study. In this case, the sponsor actually told us, hey, I think we just need to move on. Maybe we'll work on another study. So if that does happen, it's okay. I mean, I'd rather you not have a study that's not going to be lucrative for you or feasible for you to do or one that you're even going to lose money on, or maybe just break even on, um, and work really hard on, uh, I'd rather you not get that study and get a different study that you actually can be profitable on, um, and one where the sponsor is willing to negotiate. So just letting you know it can happen, you can push too hard, especially when study supply is relatively low, which is the case right now in September 2015. All right, so just something to let you guys know, yes, you can push too far on budgets. Typically, that's not a problem for most sites. Typically, their problem is they don't push enough, but you can go on the other extreme, and especially when study supply is low, lose a study because you're being a tough negotiator. So it can happen, right? Don't let anyone tell you can't happen. And again, if you need help negotiating your contracts or budgets, Give me a call. My firm can help you, 949-415-6256, um, or we can help you with a whole bunch of other stuff too, all right? Thanks for watching. Dan from TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Take care.